Okay, you just received the email from Medium's support team about how to set up your custom domain on Medium. The email seems fairly intimidating at first. It's pretty long, a lot of uh, stuff in it, but it's actually a fairly simple process. So I'm going to walk you through that in this screencast. Um, there's three kind of main parts to this email. Um, first is Medium requires you to add a CNAME record which um, enables Medium to order an SSL certificate on your behalf um, for your domain. So that's this uh, host part and this uh, target part. And so I'm going to show you how to add those um, to your DNS records. You're also going to add 12A records, um, which tells uh, you know, uh, the internet where to look for your domain when when your browser goes to um, you know, yourdomain.com, tells it what machine uh, to look for. And then the other thing is uh, if you want www, the subdomain, to work with your uh, custom domain on Medium, you'll need to add yet another CNAME record that basically points www to either your subdomain or your Apex domain that you're setting up. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. The first step is to go to your registrar and log in. I use GoDaddy. Um, Registrars are fairly similar, but there will be some minor differences in, in the interface, obviously. So you'll have to figure out how to uh, do it for your own registrar. Um, I want to manage this domain of mine called esterkin.com. Uh, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to manage uh, the DNS settings. Um, and this is where I can add records right here. So first thing I want to do is I want to add the CNAME record that Medium sent me in the email. So I go here, I select the record type CNAME. I'm going to go back to the email and I'm going to grab this host side. Oops. Um, right here, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste the host here. And then I'm going to grab the target side or the points to side. And I'm going to paste it in uh, right here. Uh, the TTL doesn't really matter in this case. I'll just make it a half an hour, uh, and then I'm going to save this. I'll probably get an error on GoDaddy. Sometimes I get an error. Other registrars, maybe not. But if I just simply refresh the page here, uh, it will have saved that record. So as you can see right here, the record is now here. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my 12A records. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to add one. Um, and this is, gets a little tricky here too. So I'm using my Apex domain, which is esterkin.com. I'm not using a subdomain. A subdomain of esterkin.com would be blog.esterkin.com or news.esterkin.com or whatever subdomain I, I or you as the user decide to um, use uh, for your medium publication. So in my case, I'm using the Apex domain. So I would just put an at sign here, which says it's the Apex domain. If I was using blog.esterkin.com, I would just put blog here. Okay, you don't have to put blog.esterkin.com. You just put the subdomain word. So for my case, I'm just put an at sign. And now I'm going to go back to the email, and it points to all 12 of these A records. So you're going to have to do this 12 times for each A record. Uh, that's the first IP address right there. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to also just do a half an hour here. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to save that. And you're going to see that that popped up here. Okay, and then the last thing, so I'm going to do that 12 times. I'm, right now I'm only showing you how to do it once. The last thing I'm going to do is add another C name if I want www subdomain to work. So my host here is going to be www, and that's going to point to esterkin.com, which is at. And again, if you're pointing www.blog.esterkin.com, uh, to your medium publication, then this points to right here would actually say blog. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to point it to at. So then when people go to www, it redirects to um, esterkin.com. So I'm going to save that. And now that you've done that, there's an easy way for you to check to make sure you've done it correctly. And so I use this handy site here that's called whatsmydns.net. You can go here and you can check to make sure you've done the records right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check that C name. So what you do is you copy again this host side of the C name and I'm going to pop it in here and I'm going to look for the C name. And if I've done it correctly, 
I will see this. I'll see the target side of the C name. So this is correct. You can do the same here for your domain. Uh, just check the A record. So I'm just going to type in estrogen.com. If you're doing blog again, you would type in blog.estrogen.com. Blog I'm going to check A records, and it should return that IP address. There's the IP address, okay? And then if I want to check the www setup, I can just do www.estrogen.com. Uh, search my, oops, sorry, uh, C name, and boom, that redirects to estrogen.com. I'm done. Everything looks good. Now I just have to wait uh, between 4 and 24 hours for the SSL cert to be ordered, and then it will automatically link up to your Medium publication, and you're all done. If you run into any issues, reply to the email that we uh, Medium sent you, and the support team will help you out. Thanks a lot. I hope this is helpful.